tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. City port never ceased working. Operations carried out throughout the night were continued in the early mornings. Goods stacked high along the docksides were brought into port by road and by rail. The lorries and wagons were then reloaded with cargo from incoming tramp steamers, ferries and liners for delivery to inland cities and towns. Everyone and every method of transport played a part in moving goods into and out of the port. The work of our tugs was an important link in the chain. It was non-stop and round the clock. The lifeblood of the whole operation was coal. Without this dirty stuff, industry would have ground to a halt. On this very busy day, Big Mac arrived at the briefing having worked all night. You know, it never fails to amaze me. Every day I see something new. Today it's the sight of a floating sack of coal, no less. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd been shipping coal, you'd be dirty. <laughs> At least you don't smell that something. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, Top Hat. Of course you don't smell, Top Hat. Coal don't have a smell. I know it doesn't worry her, but he could get a hose down before coming to join us. We Star Tacks have a reputation to keep up. Even you, Warrior, after a day in the garbage yards, don't look too scruffy. No. Oh, you, Warrior, but it's keeping that piece of glass in your eye clean. Not only my monocle, all of me. Of course, you always go over nasty jobs, don't you? All right, all right, cut the back chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, at least one Star Tug's already been working. <laughs> well, we can see that. Yeah, that's enough, Top Hat. <laughs> You go and stretch your neck with car ferry duties. <laughs> then take the garbage barge to the city dump. That'll be nice for you. Garbage? Me? Do I have to put up with this? I have to put up with you, Top Hat. Yeah. Top Hat, why do I always have an argument with you? Now, yes, move sir. out. Do Come apologize. on. I'm so sorry. Bye, Top Hat. Yes, but I don't see why... Get on with it. Oh, well, here goes. Uh, some people are so tiresome. <laughs> you know, to be fair to him, he does work as hard as we do. Really? We know. It's just his attitude gets too much sometimes. OJ, load up the new propeller from Lucky's Yard and take it to the liner and dry dock. Sunshine, Ten Cents needs your help over at the storage depot. When you finish, go help OJ. Don't waste any time, Sunshine. I need all the help I can get with that propeller. OK, OJ, we'll be there. Warrior, Big Mac, your job's the most important. You know we're competing for the steel company's contract. Show that Star Tugs can handle big steel loads better than Z-Stacks, huh? Warrior, see you get your loads across the bay without any mishaps. Be careful, don't forget, it's a very high tide today. Don't try anything rash. Off you go. Right, quick wash down, then we'll show those Z-Stacks, eh, Warrior? Yeah, we will. I'll hose you down as we travel along, Big Mac. That'll save a bit of time, eh? <laughs> it was a high tide, highest in years. Ten cents in sunshine found the quayside flooded, and they would have to work twice as hard to rescue their barge load. On the other side of the harbor, the steel company was preparing for its move to its new works across the bay. Big Mickey was the yard's biggest crane. He had just finished placing a very tall and heavy bridge section onto a barge. It was now loaded and ready to move off. The Z-Stacks were in charge of this operation. Well, 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 the Star Tugs. Yeah, 
What time do you call this, eh? You needn't have bothered. There's no work for you. We've got it all sewn up. Yeah, you said it, Zack. We've as much right to go for this contract as you have. Think you'll do a better job, Big Mouth? You ain't got no chance. Three against one, see? No chance. What do you mean, three against one? There's only two of you. Well, you don't do much except get in the way, warrior, so we count you on our side. <laughs> Can't stop here all day. We've work to do. So long, losers. <laughs> Zack's engine doesn't sound too healthy, warrior. Hey, Big Mickey, how about a real fast load up? I'm ready for you. I heard what they said. Hope you beat them to it. We will, no problem. You be careful, warrior. That's some high load you've got there. Just take it easy. We'll catch those Zed stash. You see if we don't. You're all loaded up, guys. Good luck. You can bet on it. Thanks, Big Mickey. Told you about your engine sack. You should have had a C2. Nothing wrong with it. Anyway, I've got an idea of fool those to listen. If we cut through the canal, we'll get there first. Got to. If they follow us, they can't get past because it's not wide enough, right? Brilliant. I don't know how you do it. Hey, let's go. Wait till we tell Captain Zero how we beat them. See, we're catching them. Hello, what are they up to? They're heading for the canal. I know that. That's it. They're taking a shortcut. All right. We follow them. No, we won't. They won't get through. It's high tide. So what? Bridges, warrior. Bridges. So what? High tide, high load. Oh, yeah. Bridges. Ten out of ten. They won't get that load under, will they? Let them go. They'll have to come back, and we'll be out of sight. Several bridges spanned across the canal. The lowest one carried the railway. The Zed Stacks hadn't connected their tall load with the tide, the highest of the season. Top Hat was coming towards them from the opposite direction, with a wide load as well as the garbage barge. There was no way the Zed Stacks and the Star Tugs could pass each other. When they did come face to face, someone was going to have to go back the way they came. They first saw each other at the bend leading to the railway bridge which had the lowest arch over the canal. Top Hat stopped when he saw the Zed Stacks. Go into reverse if you please, it's my water. I repeat, it is my water. We're heavier. My load is wider. You're five seconds to back up. That well, so have you then. Right, five. He means it, Top Hat. I am coming through. Four. So am I. Three. We'll see. Two. One. Get to the bridge fast, Seb, and you've got him. Watch my week. That's the half Mary's match. Both Zebedee and Top Hat put on full power and search forwards towards each other and the bridge. Top Hat looks slow. Hold on! I'm going into reverse! Oh. He's back enough, didn't I tell you, Zack? Didn't even make a fight of it! <laughs> oh no. I see why now the bridge said reverse engines! Quick! Oh no, I can't stop! That's real zero thinking, dummy. Uh, suppose Zack and I had better go and get some help. The 
It's a mail train, isn't it? Oh dear, the bridge. It's... it's... Wait a minute, I've got it. If I can get that steel rig under the bridge, maybe it'll hold while the train gets across. It's worth a try. Don't waste time cutting me free. Take me with you. You'll take that risk, Dinko? Of course I will. It's only rubbish. Top Hat's idea was to try and prop up the bridge if he could get the steel rig into place before the train got there. It was signaled through, so there was no way anybody could stop it. The bridge was weakened by the accident. Top Hat could only hope his idea would work. There was no way of warning the train. That train? Oh, I see. I'll never complain about your smell again. Rubbish can be valuable stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's been a hard day. Mm. But we're all cleared up now. Yep. I bet everybody else had a really easy day waiting for the tide to go down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I bet Top Hat delivered Lord Stinker, then moored up somewhere quiet. Yeah. Somehow he always manages to take it nice and easy. Next day, work started on the bridge. There was no serious damage to the goods engine, and its wagons were easily recovered from the canal. The steel company weren't pleased with the damage the Z-Stacks had done to their steel rig. However, it came out all right in the end. The steel company got the contract for repairing the bridge, and <laughs> I had no difficulty in convincing them that my star tug should get the contract for delivering the steel. For its size, 
is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. When they were rebuilding the old docks in Big City Port, the Star Tugs and the Z Stacks were in great demand. Pulling down derelict buildings, laying foundations with barge loads of stone. Now for this job I had to use my stronger tugs, so I took Warrior off garbage work to help Big Mac with the rock deliveries. Yeah, Warrior! What a promotion! Great to see you off garbage detail! Thanks. Big Mac and me will make a great team. We'll shift this lot quicker than his head stacks. Well, I don't doubt it, Warrior. But no accidents, eh? Give Big Mac a break. Me? I won't have no accidents. Promise. Right, well, good luck then, Warrior. And remember, be careful. What? Whoops. Of course I'm careful. I hope that isn't a bad start to the day for you. I'll do me best, Governor. No damage done. Right, it's full speed ahead. I'll be back for another load before this edge takes no watch at them. Clumsy, I used to be, but... Hey! Watch where you're going! Oh, uh, sorry. It's you should look where you're going. I'm in a hurry. Going? Us? But we're always here. We're shrimping, warrior. Can't stop to argue whose fault it was. Hey, there's Izzy. What a bonus if I could tow him as well. Ahoy, Izzy Gomez, wake up. See, uh, what, what time is he now? Oh, warrior, is he? Want a tow? Give you a good prize. Uh, yeah, yeah, you wake me up to tell me funny jokes, eh? Uh. It's no joke. I'll give you a special rate. Say, 100. Not even for 10, gringo. Now you wake me so early, I have all this daylight and the sea, she very calm. What? You wouldn't go in on your own? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. You are crazy, Izzy. Risking going in on your own for a measly hundred. <laughs> anyway, it's against the law. <laughs> I think she is less risk than you told me, eh, warrior? <laughs> Sunshine, Little Ditcher and Pearl were out dredging in the estuary. Now this was a job Sunshine usually enjoyed. Dum, dum, dum. Making good time, all going well. Oh dear, hey, uh, stop dredging. Uh, I see a warrior. Oh, huh. Morning, fellas. And Pearl, he looks like it's going to be a great day. Hey, look out. Whoops. Oh, hey, whoops. What are you doing? Oh. You noticed? <laughs> no more garbage for me, at least for now. Captain Stars put me on the rock contract for the new dog foundations. Just what was to be expected, really. Me, such a powerful tug and all. Well, gotta go now. Bye! Uh, congratulations there, Warrior. Oh, oh dear. dear me. Hey, little ditcher, are, are you all right, eh? Bit dizzy. <laughs> hey, you've got to laugh, though, eh? Look, Pearl, he's going to become the first floating merry-go-round, yeah? <laughs> oh, I, thanks a lot, warrior! Can't stop! Bye! Stand by to receive deliveries. Here comes Mr Demolition himself. <laughs> Hiya, guys. Morning, Coast Guard. Where do you want me to dump this little lot? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> right here, one of the cranes can unload it. Where's the empty barge for the return trip? You're the first in. You'll have to go back empty to the quarry. You're too quick for us, warrior. 
great. I'll do a couple of deliveries before I go back. Get some more money for Captain Star. Well, if it isn't my old amigo, I see. One to two. Mm, your stars never let anyone see a in peace. I already tell warrior I no need no tow. Don't blow your stack, only asked. You already promised the tow to another tug. Uh, uh, see, listen, uh, I don't need you tugs fussing around me all the time, okay? Sorry I asked. Go back to sleep, I say. You wanna tow me as well as it sticks? Get lost, Izzy! Eh, gringo, me not in the sun too long. Eh, gringos, who needs them? I think I try to say into port without a tongue. Keep going, I can carry more than that. When you load it up, say when. You're taking on a lot there, Big Mac. <laughs> Nothing to do with you, how much I carry. Ah, uh, just commenting, that's all. Uh, well, we lads. All right. Up to him if he thinks he can talk that much. Three zero harbor tugs just to pull two barges. Warrior and I have got you licked. Two of us can pull that much. Quality and quantity, we'll see by the end of the day. We'll see. <laughs> uh, watch this, fellas. Uh, uh, I see Warrior's up to no good again this morning. <laughs> He's a menace to every ship in the harbour. The trick was typically Zoran. Keep making insulting remarks about Warrior to get Big Mac angry, so as to forget his barge was still loading and settling dangerously low in the water. Yeah, I mean, why doesn't Captain Star sell Warrior off? He's worse than useless. Look, useless? He's one of the best workers in the port. Just cheer him in my life, Zoran. Hey, Big Mac! What's this? Oh, hello, what, what's up? Your barge is getting low in the water. Oh, oh no, my, my barge, I win! Stop loading! You'll have to take some rocks back. My barge is overloaded. Overloaded? <laughs> I thought you were as strong as all of us put together. Didn't say I couldn't handle it. <laughs> Off you go, then. Let us weaklings watch in amazement. Well, all right. Stay clear, Grampus. Uh, watch it out, crush you, Grampus. Hey, we may laugh, but with loads like that, we'll never beat them. Don't be so stupid. He can't travel very fast with his barge so low in the water. Any wake will wash over it and sink it, won't it? Hey, yeah, uh, that is devious. Very good, Ten Cents. Now try pulling down a bigger one. Oh, we'll show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you lot. Yeah. Why, what's Izzy up to? Coming on his own. He doesn't know the channel. Uh, no tug, Izzy. That's illegal. And stupid. Oh, Izzy, you're too close to the shore. Yeah, Mira, Mira. You guys is always trying to tell me I need a dog. Move out of my way, please. But there's new rock foundations. <laughs> Ten cents saw he was beginning to list and might capsize. Quick, Scalper, Mighty Mo, give me a line so I won't be able to stop him going over. I'll give you a hand. No, wait, wait. It's your salvage, Ten Cents. You claim it all. Look, never mind, salvage. We need your help too. Come on. You can do it, Ten Cents. <laughs> We've got to help he can't manage. You're right. And we will salvage both. Shouldn't have let Zoran trick me into taking such a heavy load, Grampus. You're doing all right. Just keep it nice and steady. Good thing the harbor's so flat today. Any waves in this barge will be awash and sink for sure. Yes, you're lucky. Oh, no! Warrior, slow no, down! No, no. Hey, Big Mac, you beat those zip sticks. I'll have another load in no time. Warrior, watch out your waves. You'll sink my barge. Warrior! Warrior! What's happening? I told you to slow down. Your wash sank my barge. But I, Big Mac. Sorry. 
You'll have to get a crane. I'll back up to mark the spot where the barge sank. Izzy was in a dangerous situation. He could have gone over if Ten Cents hadn't been quick-witted and thrown a couple of lines around the old buildings to keep the tramp steamer upright. <laughs> old Izzy was some handful. Look out! He's slipping! Keep your ropes tall or we'll all go down! It was clear that Ten Cents and the cranes were not going to be enough to hold Izzy. One rope was already giving way. Come on, Zip! Zark, help me out! I'll have to go ask Captain Zero. It's your salvage. Never mind, salvage. Touch and help each other. I'll get help. I'll get Big Mac. Ten Cents, you all right? Why aren't those two idiots helping you? Zip and Zug, no, they're no, waiting for me to become no, a pile of no, junk. No, 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 no. Yes, well, I report them for this. What for? Ten Cents said it was his service. He did, didn't he, Zip? Well, yes, yes. Yeah, well, you said that, not me. I can't get under there, Ten Cents. I'm too tall. But Lord Stinker can help. Oh, what a stink. I'd rather sink. Oi, ay, ay, ay. I think it's time we took over, Zip. Ready when you are. Ten cents! Hang on, ten cents! Great timing, Zuck, you've blown it! Hang on, ten cents, you'll live here and in a jiffy! No, one warrior! It's too risky! Too dangerous! Back off! Or you'll go under with me! Oh, if I can help it! Warrior! You're doing it! Is he moving? I don't believe I'm saying this, but good work, warrior! Salvage. Oh, maybe not. Oh, look after yourself, boy. Get clear. We're not going to miss this shot. Leader, hand here, fellas. Ah, oh, Wario looks like he's got it under control. I oh, couldn't have lasted this long without him. Party move. Scuttlebutt, take the strain on these roads. Aye, aye, Governor. Got him, Mario! The hulk of Izzy Gomez, full of bananas, was at last forced back off the rocks by the three star tugs. You've done it! I reckon this makes up for sinking my barge, warrior. I reckon it makes up for everything. What's up here? Another of Warrior's disasters, eh? Hey, look here, you guys. It was Ignore them, Warrior. We all know it wasn't your fault. It's you zeros of the disasters. What? Zip and Zug oh, have no, lost no, you no, your no, chance no, at the no, rock no, contract. Please. Their behaviour has been despicable. I couldn't have put it better myself. As for you, Izzy, I'll report this. Coming in without a tow means a hefty fine. <laughs> <laughs> It would be nice to prove to Captain Star that I can handle a lot more jobs on my own. Oh, I made 14 trips today and no more mistakes since this morning. At least no more that I know of. Getting tired now. Can I to keep my eyes open? Stupid old rust tub, where did you know where you're going? <laughs> what do you mean, where am I going? <laughs> I've been anchored off here for two years. Oh, well, uh, yes, sorry. It's been a long day. I must have dozed off. <laughs> oh, clumsy old tug, that warrior. We wouldn't half be boring without him. <laughs> warrior might have bumped into things, but I couldn't have done without him. He was a valuable member of my star tug team. <laughs> a striker, you might call him.
The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. It was the year of the big freeze-up. Although tugs could still move around, supplies were severely interrupted. I moved my tugs to a small port at the mouth of the river from where we could carry out our duties, as it was not possible to bring shipping into the harbor. In those early days, only large liners were fitted with wires. The SS Vienna, the famous cruise liner, had radioed in for an ocean tug to bring her in as far as the bay. It was a job for Hercules. Hi, Hercules. Seen ten cents? Think he's at the river, sweetheart. Why? I'm waiting for him to refuel me. My gauge shows I'm pretty low. Well, he'd better look after you, because I'm bringing Vienna in on the night tide. If your light isn't on to guide her in, she doesn't come in. What's keeping ten cents? It's not like him. Big shortage of fuel barges all frozen up in big city port. They'll be here soon. Keep smiling, my dear. I always do, Hercules. Ten cents and sunshine were getting desperate, trying to find a fuel barge. I had told them that if Lily's light wasn't working when Vienna came up the coast, she would sail on to the next port. The switchers knew how much everyone depended on them. They were determined she would get her supplies as usual, even if it meant taking them out to sea. If there's no fuel barges at any oil depot, where are there any? Well, they're all aced up in big city. Not all. Oh, surely. There must be one somewhere. Look, come on. All right. Warrior had his problems, too. Vienna would have garbage to unload, and he was having difficulty finding an empty barge. Even Lord Stinker, his favorite, was full. Where else can we try, Ten Cents? We've got to get that fuel for Lily's light, man. No light, no Vienna. And we can't let that happen. I can't believe it. Where did Zoran get a fuel barge? Trust him. Come on. Well, you won't let us have it. We'll have to, when we explain. Oh, you reckon? Zoran? Oh, no chance. It's for Z-Stack's sake as well as ours, isn't it? Captain Zero, Z-Stacks, as well as the Stars, had the contract for supplies for SS Vienna. So many tugs competing for so few supplies always brought problems. If they want this barge, they can't have it, see? No, no, you keep it, sir. Yes, yes, you keep it. I will. Right, fill her up, kerosene. Take a while in this cold. Zoran, here, we need fuel for Lily's light ship. You're not suggesting I let you have my fuel barge, are you? Yeah, we are. So you could supply Vienna instead of me, eh? Forget it. Vienna's lighting and heating plant, that's what this is for. That's what they want it for, Zoran, not for Lily. It is for Lily. Honest, right? Wrong, sunshine. It's for Vienna, delivered by me, Zoran. See? Right, come on. I've got a liner to meet. Be patient. You'll have to weird, Zoran. Ten Cent saw that OJ was nearby. Ah, maybe he would have an idea. He usually did when they were in trouble. And they were in real trouble now. What's up, lads? OJ, we've got a problem. No fuel barge to supply Lily. Aye, Zoran's got the only one we've seen. And he won't part. Says he's to supply Vienna. Doesn't he know there won't be any Vienna if Lily's light's not on? Yeah, he doesn't believe us. You know what Zoran's like. 
Hey, I've just thought. There's a light barge kept up river from here, always full ready for emergencies. Not all that far. Good, get it. Quick as you can, or it'll be dark. What is this, Hazy? Something about fuel and beating Zorin to Vienna, sir. We can't let it happen. Out at sea, the SS Vienna was waiting for Hercules to tow her in. There must be empty barges somewhere. There's one over there, half full. I mean, half empty. Better left to do. What did I tell you? There she is. One emergency light barge. Yeah, you do know your river, sunshine. I'd never have found this creek. Hey, should do. Worked up river long enough, didn't I? Eh? Right, you take it in tow, then I'll push. Yeah, we might just make it to Lily before dark. But Zip and Zug had other plans for them. They'd picked up a moored fire barge and were jamming it across the creek. Oi! Oi, what's going on? Get out of that, Star Tugs! What's that for? <laughs> yeah, that'll teach you. <laughs> yeah, but that's really stupid. If Vienna can't get in, it's as bad for you as it is for us. And the Zed Stacks sailed off downriver, leaving Ten Cents and Sunshine trapped in the creek. Hercules approached the SS Vienna with a greeting. She replied and signaled that she hoped all would be on station for her arrival at the lightship. Zoran wasn't having much luck with kerosene. He was still waiting. What are you two doing still here? Get down to the lightship and wait for Vienna. Oh, uh, just on our yes, way. Just going. Yeah, we thought that you'd like to know. I'm that not we... interested. Get down there now. I've got to wait for this barge. It's no good, sunshine. It's jam tight. We will get out on the night tide. What do you mean? This gully here won't take our draft now, but it will when the level rises. It leads back round the river. By that time, Vienna would have seen there's no light and have gone. No, she won't. As darkness fell, spirits fell too. Lily tried to cheer them up. I haven't had so much company for a long time. Oh, if only I could flash my light. Ten cents and sunshine should have been here long ago. They've been gone ages. Seen ten cents and sunshine, warrior? Me? I haven't seen anybody. But you have just come from there. Yeah, but I've been trying to find an empty garbage bag for Vienna, haven't I? It'll be dark soon. What do we do about a light? Anyone any bright ideas? Hercules, towing in Vienna, was on the lookout for Lily's light. Looks nearly deep enough to take our draft now, Ten Cents. Huh? And the level will keep rising as we go. Should we try it? Well, you might as well risk getting stuck instead of being stuck here. Ready when you are, sunshine. No. If we scrape on the bottom, try to keep going. It's a soft bed. I'll take your word for it. They had to make speed, too. If SS Vienna saw there was no light to keep her dead on course, she would not risk running aground. She'd carry on to the next port. Everybody was thinking, but no one had come up with a solution. Not an idea between us. Mm. No bright ones, Odra. Anybody got a stupid one, then? Come on, say it. Might lead to something you never know. I could set fire to my garbage. What? What a thought? Oh, well, make a light for Vienna, wouldn't it? I think that's a smashing idea. Just Lily's approval was good enough for Warrior. The others stared, speechless, as he quickly towed his barge away and got himself alongside it. Revved his engine to full steam to make sparks fly out of his stack. <laughs> No side Bravo! Brilliant! A beacon for Vienna! Hercules had begun to suspect that Lily's light was not on. But he had the sense to realize that whatever was causing the glare was meant to take its place. There's our marker light. We're on course. It certainly is burning well. Aye. I think you're quite brilliant, warrior. You think so, Lily? They're letting it go out. Keep it alight, my dears. We still need it. It's gonna go out before Vienna's near enough. Ah, the light barge. Just in time. Ten cents. Get its light on, quick. Afraid it's bad news, OJ. 
We tried it coming down the river. It's full of fuel, but the mantle won't flare. Ten cents, sunshine. What's the problem? Oops. Oh, Gloria. Well, I thought a good funk might make it come on. <laughs> there she is. That's very like the lovely Lily herself. Those star tugs not got any fuel, Lily. They're a disgrace. Oh, thank you, Zoran. Is that for me? It's not for you, Lily. It's for Vienna. Oh, Zoran. How do you get past that fire barge, Ten Cents? Easy. Here, what's up with you two? Oh, well, we blocked them up the creek to save the fuel contact for you, Zoran. We only went for the light barge. Huh? You idiots! We needed that light here, didn't we? To get Vienna in, for us as well as for them. Now, what's this about a fire barge? Have you taken one from its station? Yes, we only jammed it a little way. Well, get back up there quick before the fire chief gets there. Fire chief won't be pleased with you two. <laughs> It'll take them all night to get that fire barge free. Aye, it will, aye, aye. Mate, they should have thought of that when they jammed it in. <laughs> Well, that's that. Come on now. Here's Vienna. Well done, old darlings. Hercules brought Vienna in, guided finally by the emergency light. Once Vienna had dropped anchor, the tug set to work to load and unload. It was a routine they knew well from having done it many times, but it was not often they'd have to do it in the open sea. Well, we managed it out here, lads. Aye, let's hope next time Big City Port's open. Well, I'm happy to be here wherever she is because she is quite beautiful. Let your fuel hose down, come on, what's the delay? As Vienna hadn't been able to get into port due to the freeze-up, a fast turnaround was vital. Vienna had easily enough fuel to get to the next port of call and decided not to take any more aboard. Zoran was turned away. Uh, uh, I changed my mind, Lily. I'd rather you have my kerosene. Oh, thank you, Zoran. Don't want to thank him. Vienna didn't take it, so he's lumbered with it. Well, I'll still have it. I'm no good to anyone without it, am I? Half price, though, eh, Zoran? Yeah, half price, Zoran. Then we don't say anything about Zip and Zug, OK? Uh, uh, what? You crook! Well, that's good coming from you, Zoran. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! That's our property. What do you think you're up to, eh? I'm just trying to clear it for you. Yes, yes, yes. That's not what I heard. You're coming with me. All cargo loaded. Well done, everyone. Oh, how lovely to have my light on again. You look good, Lily. Shining like a film star. Oh, thank you, warrior. You're a star yourself. Without you, Vienna would have sailed on by. Yeah, but I got a good excuse to burn my rubbish, didn't I? And meant I could fill my barge with all that stuff from Vienna. And look at it all. So I'm happy. Why couldn't I have been a liner, I wonder? Because you're not big enough. You are silly, warrior. You're clear, Vienna. Bon voyage. Godspeed. Oh, he really is lovely. Yeah. Good night, Vienna. Good night, Vienna. No matter 